Hello, my name is Jared Hershowski, and today I'm here with Christine Lamond and Hedda Royce. And today we're going to ask them a couple questions. So the first one is, um, do women with different body types have to work out differently? Why is that, as well as um, how should they work out? Well, any effective uh, physical fitness program is going to be very personalized. Uh, there, everyone has a basic overall body type, and uh, they're called somatotypes. You've got ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and endomorphs. And within that spectrum, certain people burn calories very fast and have a hard time actually putting on mass, and other people might actually have a tendency to store fat. So it's very important to look at the individual and see what their basic somatotype is um, and oftentimes there is a combination of one or more or two or more I should say and from that point then you go ahead and you start to build a fitness program very good um, would you like to comment on that yeah well, it also depends on the person's goal so if the person is uh, an athlete and they're training for a sport specific, they would be doing different things and trying to build strength in different ways. Or if it's someone that's trying to do something purely for aesthetics, like an actress, you know, wants to look this certain way for a role. Become so very lean, exactly. become very lean or become much more sculpted in some way. Okay. Um, so maybe uh, one more question. What would you say to women who think that having muscles is not feminine? Well, I think it's, I think again, there's various degrees of having muscles. Um, personally, I really feel very strongly that uh, having muscles gives women a nice shape, especially as you get older, it helps to keep your curves. And also it helps you to keep your metabolism up so that you don't um, get heavier as life goes on. I, I'm 50 years old and I still am the same size I was in high school. And that's largely because of the muscle that I have. I, I burn more muscle, I burn more energy in my daily activities because I just do everything more energetically. I'm, I'm, more, um, I'm more energetic. So uh, I really don't think that muscle has to make you look um, um, unfeminine in any way. I completely agree. Thank you. Um, would you come on that as well? That was like an A++ answer. <laughs> I agree totally that um, I, I just think it's as working out, it makes you feel a certain way about yourself. You know, just lifting weights. It doesn't a lot of people think that when you lift weights, they, they're going to become too muscular or there's this myth that I'm going to get bulky. And it's just not the way that it is for women. We don't really build heaps of muscle. And it really is, like Christine said, it's about uh, your metabolism. And the more you lift, the more things you do for yourself, you really build your self-esteem, your confidence, and you feel that much better. And so doing things for yourself – almost carries into every single part and aspect of your life and just leading your life feeling empowered, more confident. And I see when I train people, and I'm sure you see this too when you train people, that the confidence level just goes up. It's almost like a different person when someone starts lifting weights and, and noticing changes in their posture and their physique. Because it's about posture too. And if I may elaborate on that, uh, women don't have the same hormones that men do so it's actually it takes a lot of work to build muscle i lift a lot of weight just to get the muscle that i have uh, in order to get a lot bulkier than this it would be a full-time job and i would have to eat a lot of calories and maybe take some performance enhancing substances so ladies don't be afraid of getting bulky um, muscle burns fat so uh, once you get the muscle then then the overlying fat is going to want to dissolve and you'll just end up with a nice shapely physique. Thank you very much. Um, so that is it for um, today. Thank you. Thank you.